Welcome to the Skunk Juice Studio on location today at Barnes and Noble. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for having me and some other local Oklahoma authors today. And I found a neighbor author, a local author who is here. Her book is awesome and it just like brought tears into my eyes and I wanted to share that with you. Again, today is local Oklahoma authors and she is Elizabeth Barnes. She wrote Lacey Lou and Maddie Sue. And I just had to share it with you. You know how much I love dogs. And this is why. Lacey Lou was a beautiful, small, dark gray poodle. Her family bought her from a fancy boutique store. She had all the finest things a dog could want. She always wore a jeweled necklace. She slept on her own big fluffy pink bed and she had crumbled biscotti for dessert every night after dinner. Lacey Lou had the best human family a dog could ask for. Yes. Oops. One Saturday, after a long day at prancing and playing at the park, Lacey Lou came home to find a stranger in her house. Who are you? Lacey Lou asked, very surprised. I'm Maddie Sue. Who are you? Maddie asked. Lacey Lou answered, I am Lacey Lou and this is my house. my house. The two dogs stared at each other for a long time. Maddie Sue was a scruffy white dog with a big brown spots, with big brown spots. She was dirty and smelly. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing here? Does my family know you are in my house? Lacey Lou asked. Maddie Sue replied, yes, they found me in the alley and they decided to keep me. I'm going to live here now. Lacey Lou was not happy about this. She was used to being the only dog. She was used to being an only dog and she liked it that way. Lacey Lou did not want to share anything with this new stinky dog. We will see about that, said Lacey Lou. Over the next few days, Lacey Lou watched Maddie Sue very carefully. She did everything she could try to try and get Maddie Sue in trouble. She wanted the house back to herself. Lacey Lou would dig holes in the backyard, but put dirt on Maddie Sue's feet so that mom and dad would think that she was digging. She would knock her water bowl all over the floor so Maddie Sue would get scolded. Lacey Lou even chewed up the corner of the couch and blamed it on Maddie Sue. Maddie Sue had finally had enough of Lacey Lou's trickery. Maddie Sue walked up to her new sister and said, come with me, I'm going to show you where I come from. They left the house and took a walk downtown to the center of the city. The streets were dark, cold, and very dirty. All of a sudden, Maddie Sue jumped into a huge, green, stinky box. Lacey Lou crinkled her nose and asked, what is that thing and why are you in there? Maddie Sue replied, this is called a dumpster. It's where humans throw their trash and things they don't want. They throw away a lot of good stuff in there. 
they even put food in here. Usually I can find my breakfast and dinner in a couple different dumpsters if I go to the right ones. Maddie Sue threw some scraps down to Lacey to try. Lacey Lou turned up her nose and said, this is disgusting. I will not eat this. Maddie Sue replied, when I lived here, this is all I had to eat. Lacey Lou had a strange feeling inside. She felt sadness for Maddie Sue. While they were digging through the dumpster, another dog walked up. He was a big gray bully dog. Give me some of that pizza right now or else, he demanded. Lacey Lou cowered behind the giant trash can. Maddie Sue jumped down and shouted back, Go find your own dumpster with pizza in it or else. The big dog laughed loudly and said, or else what? Maddie Sue got very close to him and said softly, or else I will tell your friends that you prefer squatting like a girl rather than lifting your leg. To Lacey Lou's surprise, the giant bully dog suddenly turned and ran away. Lacey Lou came out from behind the dumpster, her legs still shaking from fright. How did you do that? She asked. Out here, you have to know how to defend your turf, replied Maddie Sue. You do what you have to do to survive. After their dining experience at the trash can, they chased some rats for fun. And then Maddie Sue decided to show Lacey Lou where she slept every night. She showed her a cold, grassy, muddy spot beneath a large tree. This is it, she said. Where, said Lacey Lou, right here, under this tree. That's where I slept, said Maddie Sue. Lacey Lou looked around and replied, where is your bed and your soft fluffy pillow? Maddie Sue chuckled, the grass and mud were my bed and pillow. Lacey Lou had a shocked look on her face. That is awful. No wonder you were so dirty when you came to our house. Once they got back home that night, Lacey Lou ate her biscotti very slowly and enjoyed every bite. She laid in mom's lap and loved having her back scratched and massaged. And she appreciated her soft pink bed even more. Lacey Lou decided to do something that night. Apologize. I'm sorry that I treated you the way I did, Lacey Lou told Maddie Sue. It wasn't right, and I want to be friends. Maddie Sue smiled. I accept your apology. Deep down, it doesn't matter that you were a store dog and I was a found dog. We are both the same, just dogs. That night, Lacey Lou and Maddie Sue became not only sisters, but best friends. The end. I just love this story and I love Elizabeth Barnes and getting to meet her today. Again, a local Oklahoma author and lives in Yukon, Oklahoma. Thanks for joining me and Lacey Lou and Maddie Sue today. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. And what do we do? We sprinkle that kindness. See you next time. Bye guys.